There are two vital things we need to consider before we start our navigation exercise. The first one you need to learn, even before you leave your home, is the I'm safe checklist. This is a personal checklist that is vitally important for you to memorize for your own safety and those of your passengers. I'm safe is an acronym that's easy to remember and it stands for I is for illness. Have you suffered any illness recently that might affect your ability to safely fly? For instance, you might have a bad cold and this may affect your ability to equalize your ears when flying at higher altitudes. Or you may have a headache that could affect your ability to fly and concentrate effectively. M is for medication. Have you been on any medication that can affect your ability to fly safely? Some antihistamines, for instance, can make you drowsy. If in doubt, always check with your doctor. S is for stress. Have you been under stress lately that might affect your ability to concentrate and fly safely? The loss of a loved one, losing your job, or a divorce a good example of external influences that can cause a lot of stress. If you think you're under some form of stress, please do not fly a plane. A is for alcohol. How long has it been since you have drank alcohol? While you may meet the legal minimum requirements, you may be hung over or still suffering the effect of alcohol from the day before. F is for fatigue. Did you get a good night's sleep last night? If you're feeling fatigued and not well rested, then it's not a good idea to fly. E is for emotion. Are your emotions under control? If you have just had a fight with your partner, for instance, and still feeling highly emotional, you should probably cancel your flight. It is important that you complete the personal checklist before every flight. The other critical component is time. If you're under time pressure, then I'd suggest if it is a private operation that you consider postponing the flight until you do not feel this time pressure. Time pressure causes us to make bad decisions and forces us to rush through pre-flight planning and prevents us from pre-flying the aircraft to a high standard. It is vital you give yourself plenty of time for your navigation exercise so you do not feel rushed. We have now determined that we have passed the I'm safe check checklist and we are not feeling any time pressure before you even leave your home. I would suggest having a general overview to look at the weather for your planned navigation exercise. There is no point leaving your home if the weather is not suitable for your visual flight. Once you have determined that the weather is most likely going to be okay, you can then proceed with your flight plan and a more in-depth look at the weather forecast.